Here's a story of how Microsoft font took down a world leader. This man, he's Nawaz Sharif, and he's Pakistan's prime minister. Sorry, was Pakistan's prime minister. It's actually the third time he's been kicked out of office. In the saluk, where we are with us, I understand that we are not saluk. Pakistan's Supreme Court found Nawaz Sharif guilty of lying on financial documents. And so, he was forced to resign. But how did the Supreme Court know the documents were fake? Believe it or not, it's because of the Microsoft font Calibri. After the Panama Papers leak, the Sharif family was accused of not disclosing their wealth and income for multiple properties overseas. In order to prove their innocence, the family handed investigators these documents, allegedly from 2006. The only problem? The documents used the Calibri font, which wasn't released with Microsoft Word, until 2007. And that would draw one to the conclusion that the documents were not real. The Supreme Court agreed, and down went Nawaz Sharif. Now, Nawaz Sharif still has a lot of popular support. And in the meantime, he's orchestrating a way for his brother to take over as prime minister. That's not surprising. Political parties in Pakistan are usually a family affair. In fact, the current leader of the main opposition party is Bilawal Bhutto, whose dad used to be president and whose mother and grandfather were both prime ministers. Other opposition parties are also celebrating Nawaz Sharif's downfall, and many are wondering if the time has finally come for Imran Khan to come to power. Khan is a former cricketer turned politician, and he was the main figure campaigning the Supreme Court to remove Sharif from office. <laughs> Politics in Pakistan is always a roller coaster. No prime minister has ever completed a term in the history of the country. So, how long will the next prime minister last? <laughs>